Welcome to configuring your team's Trello board for our current Scrum. And some organizations call it a sprint, but essentially it's the same thing. It's a small team working on a tight timeline to get a bunch of things done. So this is the film board and the film class has a bunch of pre-built cards to help them understand what needs to get done to make a film. For the other classes, we don't have that. And so you can put in all your tasks into your backlog. And just a reminder that the backlog is where you put everything that the team is going to attempt to do during the current sprint or scrum, which is during one of our, um, a month. You know, it's a few weeks of work. And let's look at an example. So here is uh, what this team thinks you know, they have in the backlog. This is stuff that they may not be able to get to, but these are the things that they think they can accomplish. So what we do is you start off, and this number right here is the current number on the top of the burn down chart. And so what we do is we'll say, okay, 44 is where we start. So let's say we're gonna start working on some stuff. So we have these tasks that are in production and the bell rings, we go away, come back the next day and we're like, hey, wait a minute, we actually got those done. So the next day in your stand-up meeting, you um, put those into the done pile and your update would be 34. So we started off with 44. Now today at the top of our column on a burn down chart would be 34. And you decide to work on these things and the team starts working. Yay. And come back the next day and you're like, well, we got this done. Okay, so you know that would mean that our burn down chart would be now 29. No, I'm just doing this to show you the numbers here. Um, but the idea is you, update whatever is done or completed um, in the burn down chart. And I'll remind you how to do that in class. Oh, that, that helps us with the trajectory so we can see how things are going. In the board, you also have a presentation section. At the end of each month, we do a, a very quick presentation on who did what to get the thing accomplished. Now, even if the thing, the film, the game, or the song doesn't get done, that's okay. What we're doing is we're talking about what did you do to work toward your own goal as part of the team, and where's the evidence of that? And that evidence is gonna go in the presentation. So the evidence could be a screenshot or something that we can see or hear that you are responsible for in the creative process for the group or if it was an individual effort that you would have there. And I'll show you that at the end of the month. This section right here is for ideas that your team comes up with or you individually come up with for next time. And that could be process ideas, how to be more efficient, or it could be creative ideas that you want to do the next time you make a game, a song, or a film. But just write down ideas here because as you're working through this, <clears throat> you're going to come up with all kinds of ideas and things that help you. Um, we'll talk about this. This is how we debrief as a class the whole scrum process and how it worked, how to make it more efficient for next month. <clears throat> and that's the thing about this is that every month we do it, we get better at it. So when you first start out, it's a little confusing. You're like, oh, what do I put things? And this whole numbering things and so on and so forth. Yeah. And just remember that this, these, are, well, these are resources that I created for you to look at to see how to use Scrum and uh, uh, with a Trello board. Okay? And so now this team, they're going to come in and go, what the heck? Something's changed. We are not ready for our infinite bingus party. Wow. Uh, so there we go. The team is back, and you can see right here, here are the team members. All right. Well, have fun with this, and uh, if you have questions, talk amongst yourselves and or send me an email. Thanks so much.